Hey everyone, in this video, I want to share with you my favorite grinding spot. I think this spot is best for grinding levels 56 to 61, but let's just jump right into it. My favorite place is the same as the last video I've made, it's at Polly's Forest. Polly's Forest is west of Grana, which is in the Camasilvia region in Black Desert, so it's most west on the map, and then you head out to Looney Cabin, and this is where you want to start your rotation. I just started doing this, but I would definitely suggest investing energy into this node so then you get a better drop chance. So at Polly's Forest, you can see that it has a lot of monsters, the combat experience is really high, the skill experience is really high, and it also has a Marnie Realm if you need it. This is the equipment and the other that drops at Polly's Forest as well, with the most being this Manos Craftsman's Clothes, with a market price of 117 million silver. And then if you've never done the quest here, I definitely suggest you doing the quest. On top of the region quests, I definitely would suggest going into Grana and going to talk to the blacksmith to get the reoccurring quest. If it's your first time in the Camasilvia region, you'll definitely find a lot of quests around Looney Cabin and on the way in between here and Grana. The next thing that's important right before you start your rotation is make sure you have the appropriate AP and DP. I definitely would suggest having at least 200 here since the AP requirement's 160. You want to be able to kill these mobs quicker, so investing in better gear or getting potions that increase your attack power is definitely needed here. On top of attack power potions, I definitely would recommend getting as many EXP buffs as you can. You can get EXP elixirs from the central market pretty easily. And then on top of that, there's also Beast Draught, which gives you an extra 20% combat experience and 15 more AP for monsters. I also suggest getting Milk Teas because this gives you an extra 8% combat experience. Also, if you have your 530% combat and skill experience scroll, I definitely recommend using these for this grind. To check, hit F3, go into your loyalties, and it should be at the top. Since I've purchased all 53 for my family account, it's at the bottom. I actually purchased 53 of these like two years ago and they reset this once. So I've had 106 of these in total. So if you still have any remaining here, I definitely would recommend getting this for your family account and then simply putting this in your storage so any character can access it. Cause you never know, they might reset it again. Another great way to get more experience before your rotation is to simply go into your challenges section, go to the rewards and near the top, there will be the daily for getting more combat experience. Get the 200% scroll for that and then go down all the way. If your character is less than level 60, then you're able to get this combat experience as well. So claim this. One other way to get more combat experience is by using a golden bell. This will make everybody on your server love you as well because it gives everybody on your server 100% more experience for one hour. Another good item is something like the Secret Book of Old Moon. So this lasts for 7 days and it gives you another 100% combat experience and 50% more skill experience. On top of that, you can go to the Transfusion tab through your Black Spirit and then add on crystals to get more combat experience. So this is another way to get a little bit more combat experience. There's also guild buffs for more experience as well, so you can plan this with your guild. A great free buff from any major city is by talking to one of the priests at the city. In this case, it's Marindora. She's at the east side of Grana, and she can give you more combat experience or attack or defense for 300 minutes. Lastly, I'm gonna mention two different paid ways to get more experience as well. So you can have an outfit, and in this case, if I had four parts of this outfit, I'd get 10% more combat experience. And you can also get a pay to win campsite that allows you to use a villa scroll, which will give you more skill experience for 300 minutes. When you're adventuring around Black Desert, you might also find these 5% more experience scrolls as well. So you might as well do this, but these are very, very small. Last thing to know is that some of these buffs don't stack, so make sure you're not overlapping your buffs. One thing that's gonna save you a ton of time while grinding is making sure you have pets with you. So you can have up to three pets at once, and pets can give you different buffs, so try to look out for skill experience ones. So it isn't much, but with these three pets, I'm getting an extra 3% skill experience. And it's super handy having these pets pick up everything as you go. Lastly, I'd say make sure you have enough slots available so you're able to pick up all the junk you're gonna get on this rotation. So this brings me to the rotation. And for this, I have handy dandy paint. After I show you this rotation, I'm also gonna be doing this rotation as well, so you can follow along that way. But to start, go to Looney Cabin, go forward there until you get to this little river thing. There's this little stone trail to get across the river. So from the river, you wanna to go towards the big mobs right ahead and then cut to the other side where there's tons of mobs on the other end of that big field. Go across this big field all the way until you get to the edge and keep killing the mobs along the way and then follow around the edge and go up the mountain area, kill all the mobs up the mountain, 
and then drop back down the mountain. This little mountain drops the only area in the rotation that doesn't have any mobs, but it's a great place to hide if you ever need a break. From dropping down, you can just go straight back to the same rotation where you go across to the other side, or you can stay on this side and bring up the rotation this way. Depends how fast you can do the rotation. Anytime you want to go to Wacky Toshi to go get more Marnie Stones, from the drop down of the mountain, instead of going towards the same rotation up the mountain, once you're at the drop down of the mountain, instead of going left and going back up the mountain, go straight and go into the valley and there's tons of mobs here. So kill all the mobs, kind of zigzag your way through those. And then there's a big field here. You can kill all the mobs in here. And then Wacky Toshi is right here. And from Wacky Toshi, it isn't hard to just swing your way back into the rotation and follow the mountain back all the way up. All right, and now I'm gonna go do the rotation. So now that this character hit level 57, I'm gonna start from this top of the mountain area and drop down, head out to Wakitoshi.
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like this place as much as I do. The skill experience is great, and there's tons of mobs for it. All right, have a great day, guys. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video to show your support, and subscribe to my channel to see my next video, and I'll be sure to release more Black Desert Online content soon. Cheers.